Hi, my name is Mark Mulholland. I'm uh, through the United Steelworkers. Uh, I work with uh, rapid response mostly. Uh, I'm a congressional coordinator. So I work with uh, a lot of the senators and, and uh, Congress people on a, on a regular basis. Uh, we, we work hand in hand with the Blue Green Alliance. Um, we're doing this bus tour. The job is not done for that simple fact. The job is not done. The senators, the representatives all went home for the summer. Uh, with with a, a job uh, unemployment rate of about 10 percent, which which is just absolutely unheard of and uncalled for. We probably haven't seen this big of a uh, of a uh, a down job uh, since probably the Great Depression. So I think they've coined this the Great Recession, which uh, is absolutely horrible and it's and it's unnecessary. President Obama is actually trying to to help the economy by pumping money into the economy, and and he's put a lot of it out there for green energy which is the solar power, the wind generators. Problem being, uh, they, they, they've taken a lot of this uh, wind generator money and they're, they're buying the wind generators in China, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. They need to, they need to buy, uh, we, we make everything here. Every one of those wind generators that they're buying in China uh, creates almost no jobs here. It creates uh, jobs for the construction guys building it and the maintenance guys taking care of it, that's it. When, when they buy those generators here, every single one of them that's built creates 120 jobs here in the United States, manufacturing jobs, building the gears, making the copper wire that the, the generators are, the, the, uh, the, big, the big blades that are made, made out of uh, the uh, fiberglass. So we're, we're, we're losing a lot of money. A lot of it's going over there. So instead of stimulating the economy here like it should be done, it's stimulating it over there, which is, which is absolutely uncalled for and, and, and not right. Um, we're, we're traveling this bus from coast to coast. We started in LA. Um, it's going to be about a three week thing, uh, 17, 17 states, and it's mostly to maybe put a little pressure on these uh, politicians that, uh, you know, we, we put them there in the first place, we voted them in, and if they can't pass some comprehensive uh, legislation to keep the jobs here and to take care of some of the problems instead of sitting up there bickering in Washington, D.C. all the time, you know, maybe we need to think about voting them out of there. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. My name is Jim Norris. I'm president of United Steelworkers Local 675 out of Carson, California. And we represent workers from the coast here to Las Vegas in Clark County. Um, here in Las Vegas, we have Merck Medco, uh, one of the largest mail order pharmaceutical companies on the planet. And uh, we've, we're seeing something today that we haven't seen in this country before, and that is workers and environmental people coming together. It's never occurred before. Workers are starting to understand that they need to take care of this planet or their job won't exist and there will be nothing left for their children. And the environmental side is understanding the workers' perspective of, hey, we got to go to work. we got to feed those kids. Okay? It's never happened before. It, this is a monumental occasion, and I hope Washington opens their eyes and sees what's coming at them. And there's a bus out there. It says the Blue Green Alliance. That's an amazing term. Blue Green Alliance. And I want to tell those senators that there's room on that bus for them. But the bus is coming. They can either get on the bus or they can get run over by the bus, but the bus is coming. Get on the bus. Okay. <laughs> we got work to do and they have work to do. The legislation will allow for steel workers to make the steel, the construction workers to weatherize homes, retrofit buildings, uh, communication workers to deal with the 21st century broadband networks. Uh, working people could start building the new grid of, uh, to transmit cleaner renewable e electricity. Okay. So the transit operators will be able to move America from place to place with more efficiency because how we move today is not efficient. I'm from the oil sector. I boil oil. I make gasoline, diesel, jet fuel. That's eventually going to go away. The United States hit peak oil in the middle 70s. Saudi Arabia hit it like six years ago. Okay, oil will run out. You can only 
pull out of a soda can so long and then it's empty. We need renewable resources. We need to keep working on that because renewable energy means renewable jobs. It's good for everybody. Thank you. I'd, I'd like to add, we have a president now that is willing to go a little farther on this. He's already talked and accomplished more since he's been in there than the last president did in eight years. But it's our senators and congressmen we have to write letters to, not just the friendly ones, the unfriendly ones and the ones that don't like it. And we have to stress to them to not make this a partisan issue, to make it an American issue. Well said.